quick look. I'm gonna go to this Asian market to grab some vegetable to make this Korean dish. Galbi jjim, beef short rib with the bone. Uh, just change to this. Top is from Stout. I've had this for a while and I still really, really love. These are from a gold day. I'll link to these down below. The golden goose. I really love these. And it's still really hot outside, but fall is definitely coming. Alrighty, let's go. Pear juice for the meat that I'm gonna make. Anyways, I'm glad they had this back in stock. <laughs> and this is the brown rice I get. And this Josh has been loving so so much. This is late nighttime. This is what Lydia loves to eat. Lychee. You if you, you guys know Lychee, then Costco buy it. Has this. Like this. Lydia loves to eat. Lydia, is that good? Uh -huh. Why do you like it so much? Because it tastes like Lydia. <laughs> Lychee <laughs> yummy. Yay, yummy! It's Saturday. Joshua is having his best, best moment. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Caleb. Mommy's funny boy. Good night. Hey guys, good afternoon. I am going to make garlic jam. Yummy! Yeah. Beef chuck short rib. I'm going to wash each one with cold okay. water and put the cold water okay. in here and let the blood come out mm -hmm. and I'll leave it. <laughs> Kelly, okay. listening. And I'll be back. Alrighty, this has been like three hours and do you see how much blood came out? I'm going to just pour this, let it dry some. I got bok choy, one of my favorite vegetables. A second cup of coffee today and I just want to snip a bit. The spicy and sweet. Super crunchy. It's because I'll make it a little bit of a gap. You just want to brown it outside, you don't want to cook through. I got the crushed ginger from Trader Joe. I used to do this with garlic. It looks like done, but that is just to brown the outside. put the garlic as well. I'm using apple but if you have the Asian pear that's the best. I'm gonna put that in here, all of it. I'm gonna blend this and I'll be back. Alrighty I already put the ginger. Why are you doing mommy? Add Miriam maple syrup. maple syrup. You can use brown sugar or sugar, oligodon, starch type of uh, syrup. You need sesame oil, two spoons, the black pepper. It smells good. I love stirring. Put all these. 
pour some water. Let this to boil. Hi. Remember I bought this at H Mart? This is the radish. That is a giant boy. That radish is so hard. Oh, mm -hmm. can I cut this? Mm -hmm. as fresh as I like. Can I put the stuff inside here? What I cut it? Mm -hmm. Potato. 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 Oh, mommy, I did it. It's been boiling. Let's add these. If you have a uh, chongyang gochu, it's like jalapeno, but I didn't buy it because we have kids. If you can handle a bit of spicy food, add that. It changes the whole, I mean, everything. I highly recommend. Mommy, can I have the leaf stings that are right here? Okay. Why you want that? Because I'm going to make a special delicious right here. This is grapeseed oil. Garlic here. That fits. Look at that. What are you making? Oh, yeah. Oh, the, the, yeah, the big old. Oh, you mean the Yeah. Oh, this pot I've had over 10 years. This was in our wedding registry. <laughs> I believe I still use it. Oh. Did it come oh. out? Oh. Ooh, that's good. It smells good, right? King pot beef. Right? Yeah, it is. It's a uh, garbage gym. From Chao Su Chao. Mmm, smells so good. Oh yeah. Would you like Yeah. It's a dinner. It's a dinner. Oh, oh, can I yummy. Put... Yummy. Oh. Can I put it on? Can I do it, mommy? Gonna be here. What do you think? Very good flavor. Tasha, do you like it? Uh -huh. How about me? What about Paula? Yeah. Can I have some carrots? You don't like carrots? I like that. The potato's good. Mm, yeah. It tastes good. Mm-hmm. The potato is so good. I like the food. Mm -hmm. Are you happy with your dinner? Mm-hmm. Oh, so happy. good! I'm happy with my dinner. I'm happy with my dinner. Tell the wife to talk to the camera. Uh, what? It's good. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. It's tender. Sweet. Mm -hmm. Hey guys hello hello i just got back home from a short meeting that i had to attend for work and i will show you guys what i'm wearing right now i ordered some pieces from shop bob this weekend and it's already here i just i'm so shocked that's why i started to record and also this portion from the beginning is more recent and you will see after me showing some of the pieces i got you will see from Lydia's birthday time and the wedding I went and more. Let me show you guys. This box just arrived. Ooh, super excited because you guys saw me wearing, I believe, earlier on the same cardigan in blue. Oh my goodness. I said I'm gonna show you what I'm wearing. These have been my recent favorite. I got these during anniversary sale from Nordstrom and just been obsessed. Just love the combination with the gold here and beautiful smooth leather, navy. And I'm matching that navy with this hoop toe. Very, very comfortable with this romper is from Express. Actually, I got the notification from email. This popped and I was like, oh, I love the blue one. It, it's the same one. And this is moussey. There's no stretch, so definitely size up. These are the Japanese brand, I believe. A lot of women in Japan, they are petite like me. So the length is really nice. 
But if you're interested in the ones that I'm showing you, even though I don't have a lot to show you, this short clip, check down below in the description box and also the cooking related things that you see in this video, always check down below if you're interested because I do my best to link every single thing that I see when I'm editing. So This is a white button-up shirt. I have exact same in pink and also blue stripe, but I've been wanting white color, but it's just not been available at Nordstrom. So when I went to shop Bob, they had it and every size. So I was like, wow. I went with the style tapered, so it's not skinny but have a little bit of room so if you go with skinny i think you need to size up like two different sizes very easy type of cardigan that goes with everything and you guys know i love black and white super nice and stretchy i went with the size small and the blue one also i went with size small because i wanted to wear something underneath and wear as a cardigan but also wearing it by itself I am glad I tried. Super simple button up shirt. And on the front, I just like to tuck in. You can fold them up. Simple and very, very comfortable. And I got two. Did it! It's like guava. I really love the style of it. And also, it's just really nice quality. I liked it. But the color combination, it made me look too much work. Let's have another try. Guys! I'm so glad size extra small still works on me. I just have to hold up right this part. Super gorgeous color shades and this, should I try? Okay, this is size small and the color olive green. I honestly don't feel this. Maybe I just like pop of color or colors. And I just went back to check one thing and I found out they are having amazing, amazing sales. So I saw so many gorgeous dresses that are long sleeve. Perfect to wear right now and early fall. So I'll link to those that I'm interested also down below in the description box. And now you're gonna start to see Lydia's birthday time. Start from here. Unicorn Pinata for a little girl. The birthday is after tomorrow. Lydia, you want to help? Let's see. Lydia, you're turning six. Yay. Are you happy about it? Uh huh. You can get this. It's just so cute. It came with the confetti and also the mask. Well, I'm going to go like. No, Dodger, don't do it that hard because we all need to do it. <laughs> when, when I was at Paul's house, I, I was literally the second one in line and I just whacked it. Yeah, I, I didn't know. So this is what's going on. Now I'm going to put up right here. And this is the night before the big party. What time is it? Like 10 o'clock? Getting ready for Olivia's birthday. I need a water. You water? I want it. Rainbow. Did you say something? Uh, say hi. Hi. Here you guys tomorrow. Right, Lydia? Your friends come over? <laughs> Look at that birthday girl. Bags for all the kids, the cookies, and the kids enjoying the time. Yeah, because the birthday girl right here. <laughs> birthday and now I'm just gonna go to get the cake that I ordered. Uh, we got the unicorn style. Thank you so You're welcome. Joshua came to help mommy and look at the balloons for a video girl. We're ready. I think it's recording. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. Look 
came in. This is too big. All Zara. Hi. Is <laughs> my best friend Penny right here? You guys heard me talking about her before. Look at my face. So pretty. Love it. Finally, the chairs arrived. Two years of waiting. Crazy, but very, very excited. <laughs> Overall, very happy, super duper heavy. It's the real book. And yeah, they painted it over with the matte black. Really, really nice quality. So I'm happy overall, yes. Those get dirty like crazy from having little kids and especially Kayla coming along, oh my goodness. <laughs> but these are not gonna be as comfy as those, but it will be just easier for me to take care of. Black there, black, and the black, the black. So I wanted that black looking with the white-ish right here. Um, hi guys, mommy bought these new chairs hi. and they're so comfy. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah, they all really comfy. Oh, Try it, you mommy. Seriously. Try. Okay. Yeah. Here. See? Yeah, actually, this is comfy. This supports your back, and, and you can okay. rest your arm yeah, um, here. Guys, Kale can also be on the chair uh -huh. because this is not like wooden. Like, oh, it can fall down. Like, oh yeah. Ah. This is good. Mommy, what? Joshua, what do you think? I'm pushing, it's good. Pushing. Why? It's good. It's cold. Cold? Or nice. Caleb, you like the new chair? Yeah, I like it. I like the chair moving. Why you like it? You! Hi, Mommy! Mommy, my chair moving! Mommy, moving. guys, yeah. we know. Yeah. Potato, potato, win, win, win! Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 o'clock at night and uh, it's so bright. Just let it be. Morning, 
got this at Apron. This is more spicy. This is what I made yesterday and it was delicious. I'm <laughs> gonna make another one for my husband to taste it. Thank you, man, for sharing it with me. Oh. <laughs> and I'm gonna try this here. Once the water is boiling, I boil the egg. And this is the broth. You don't have to do anything but put it in the freezer three hours before you're gonna eat it. But this has been in the freezer for the whole night. And this is really quite nice looking. <laughs> And this is really thin and cooks super fast, so 50 seconds. And while I'm doing this, I'm also making this. I love corn. It smells so good. And do you see the water becoming like white? That's because of the starch off from the noodle. This noodle is thicker. Kind of cute. <laughs> I'm going to rinse this. The water. on the corn all day. I ended up microwaving one minute. This is the perfect state. Look at that. Bit of ice. And egg. Ooh, looking pretty good. Now that's for my husband. And this is for me. Still a little bit watery. I'm going to use this. That looks good, right? Yeah. You don't? You know, I like the mustard. Oh. Can I mix it in there? Yeah. My husband is like putting the mustard in. Oh, that doesn't look good with the, <laughs> the spicy kind. Oops. Stay right there. Seaweed and the sesame seeds. Woohoo! Look at that, that looks so good. Soup just like the restaurant. It's good. Very good. Okay, mine is supposed to be kind of spicy. And that tiny noodle became so big. Mmm. It's tarty. It's on point. It's good. It passes. Too sweet for me. Here. Not bad. I never had this before. Mm hmm I like my sour. Mm-hmm. If I have to choose one, I would choose the watery style, Moldang Man. But this is a good one too. When you want it spicy and a bit sweet. Good morning! I'm going in up, I stuff in and up, I stuff in and up in the cat. Guys, we invited some of our friends and my husband made this. It looks just so beautiful and grand. Just let it cool down a little bit. He's been making from 6 this morning. And this is what I got. Green onion with garlic. And I'm gonna put some soy sauce on it. We have mashed potato that's cooking. This is gonna make mushroom sauce. That is what's going on at our house today. And here, Joshua did all this. Very nice of him. The placement I ordered from Amazon went back. I just didn't like the quality. Um, I ordered some at Miggy and Co. and they're not here. As usual, they're always very slow. So, so far, that is what's going on. And on my face, this is what usual thing I do. I don't do much actually in real life I don't do a lot of makeup so I use cushion foundation from Amor Pacific and also concealer 
Passam. So very thin layer and light. I didn't even use the pencil for brow, but only I used the brow dip. And also I used my favorite MS blush, tiny bath to give a bit of color on my face. And I also used the concealer tiny bit here. So I use tiny, tiny, tiny. I have Chanel lipstick on. It's the color Lively or Lively. I'll link to everything down below. If you're interested, check down below. And on this area, I change a bit, just a bit. That has been sitting on the corner of this area for very long time. I was not sure about the size. I didn't really expect it to be that big. Chairs. Tweezy sauce. Huh? Mm, that's good. Oh no, I forgot. Oh my goodness, this is what happens when you're filming and forget about the stuff. What? Yeah. That looks so good. They're right? cute. All of them are beautiful. Daddy, I like them. What? Why don't we get that? Huh? Oh, that's You sauce? can have some of the sauce. Zucata? What? <laughs> Zupa. Zupa. Toscana soup. Toscana. Zupa Toscana soup. Kale Only here. time I'll eat kale is in this soup. <laughs> yeah. When I was working in the grocery store, kale was decoration. <laughs> we didn't eat that until someone said it was a superfood. Regardless, I don't like the taste. So, kale, celery, mm -hmm. onions, mm -hmm. pepper. Pepper? Or sorry, uh, potatoes. Mm -hmm. Mild sausage. You can use hot if you like it spicy, but for the kids, we'll keep it mild. Mm -hmm. And then the chicken broth. Okay. Pretty simple. Okay. The good thing about this is you can make this all in one pot, so you don't have to worry about doing this or that. You can just make it. So, <laughs> we're gonna start simply by preparing everything, and then uh, we'll add all the ingredients. Mm -hmm. Okay. Forgot the garlic bread, so I'm gonna have to just Cheat. Oh. Start off by rinsing our kale. I'm not gonna fan the stems. I think it's a little too hard. We'll just loosely cut this kale. Daddy? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know why. Our kale started one. Well, I don't know why he has so much. Who? Joshua's working on world history. He's okay. studying about the Samari Samarians in Mesopotamia. Getting a little history lesson in. So Joshua likes history. The answers are in the chapter, Joshua. Why don't you find the section with the king where they talk about the king first? And then it says, all to run a different thing. That's pretty important, right? You unite something. So we're doing the celery effect here. What is special about that area of Mesopotamia that allows civilization to thrive? Remember, we read about it. Water. Yeah. They need water to grow, right? But if you don't have rain in the desert. So water is very important in ancient civilizations because they can't make water. Help people grow some. Their cities, right? They believe that was the first time they wrote laws down. All right. So now we start preparing everything. A bit of grapeseed oil. I thought you read that already. You don't remember his contribution? Make it easier to split. Otherwise, it's kind of all sticks together, you know? So we're just browning the sausage now. Oh, come on! So after it's done browning, then I'm gonna take it out and then put the other stuff in there and then add it back in. Take it out of here. Onion. Onion is translucent. 
four cups of chicken broth in here. I just put the water in here just to rinse off the residual chicken broth. So it's about four cups of total chicken broth and then add in about a couple cups of water. And then we're gonna add the potatoes. Ooh. And we're gonna let this come to a boil and then it's gonna simmer for about 15, 20 minutes until the potato is fork tender. All right. Add the kale. Yeah, it sure is. It's not my lot of soup. I know. <laughs> Should I put more water in there? That's enough. Basically, we'll bring this to a boil and then we'll add the cream, heavy cream. It's one of my favorite things to eat at Olive Garden. Hopefully it tastes that way. It looks like it. I mean, you can use milk, half and half, heavy cream. It all depends on how heavy you want it to be. That's the beauty of it. So we just add this here. Cream. It's gonna be creamy. My husband likes things that are kind of heavy and thick and creamy and tasty. So we'll just let this simmer up. And I'm gonna make the garlic bread. Forgot the French bread, so I made a garlic and uh, parsley butter sauce. Just coating just regular plain bread. Cook for about five minutes. Very nice. Similar to Olive Garden. It's super tasty. Yeah, I really like bread. That's my taking garlic bread. <laughs> <laughs> Mozzarella cheese. So you like it? Mm. So good. Mm. Actually, the bread oh. is really good. Only thing is, I think you need to just cut that kale. Hey guys. I just got my nails done. Ta-da! Is that so fresh and beautiful? I haven't done like orangey. It's like a neon. If you're interested, the color is popsicle from DND. Really love that. And I think that goes really well with, you know, monogram together. And this is the bag and the dress that I wear. And of course, I've got to have the revival sandals. Now, I need to eat quickly before I pick up my kids. But I'm just eating leftover curry I made. It's the last part of it, but I really, really do like Maybe with the chicken and the curry I use is from Japan. I use garlic in it and it's really filling. Sweet onion, potato, and carrot. I use the chicken thigh. Boneless. I just heat it up. This is the best leftover to eat because it tastes always just so good. And it's yummy with rice. And also, it goes really well with kimchi. <laughs> so, I love, love, love. That's my lunch with kimchi I got from Sunday afternoon. Oh. At the lunchtime. Oh, pickle! Yeah, pickle! Can I put a sprinkle in, um, mommy? Can I put a sprinkle in? Yeah. I want this. Ooh, Lydia did a good job. Look at this. This is not pretty. The rainbow cup. Man, yeah. so sweet. Did you help Caleb too? Oh. I only put... This is mine. Hello, do you want chocolate or vanilla ice cream? Chocolate. This is like one of my favorite ice cream. Classic ice cream, berry claw. It has chocolate and chocolate covered almond and caramel. This is so good. Oh my goodness. So this is what we're having. Lydia, do you like wonton? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. This is our lunch. Mm -hmm. Super easy. Just have to boil the water and the, you can use actually any dumpling from any store. The frozen kind, Costco sales and Trader Joe love their pork dumplings and I just have to yeah let them boil in the boiling water. It comes out wonderfully and I believe this is the last part in this video. Thank you so much for watching this video and love
cooking and showing you guys what we eat. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. And I'm gonna see you guys in my next video. Bye. 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 I was my favorite thing to put in wonton soup is um, green onion or cilantro.